bunt, blooped up, Petron with some athleticism. Great first step off the mound, he makes a nice basket catch. Well, the Beavers go in order. Isaac Nett with that RBI, drove in his 37th run of the year, and that is drilled to deep right. Gutierrez is back, and it is way out of here. Isaac Nett drills one to right. That is his eighth home run of the season. And Southwest Minnesota State extends the lead and gets the momentum back. Jason McDaniel now 10 stolen bases this year. He's been caught three times. And that is level to deep left. And that is way out of here. A two-run blast by Max Kallenberg. That is his second home run of the afternoon. And it's 7-2 Southwest Minnesota State. Minot State has the tying run on deck. Lifted to deep left field. Nash drop steps. He looks, and it's gone. A three-run home run keeps the Beavers in the game. They are not dead yet. Derek Kay keeps his team alive. Game on here in Minot. Matt Malone now to the dish. He represents the tying run. First homer of the day for Minot State. 75th home run of the year. They're number 11 in the nation in that category. Good velocity there from Bates with that four seam. Malone's had a good day. Now Malone ahead in the count. Typically, Chris, it's a broadcaster's curse that we talk about. But I mentioned the possibility of a three-run home run, and that didn't happen. So broadcaster's blessing this time around. Three and one. We talked about a no lead insurmountable for this potent, efficacious Beaver offense. And again, the Beavers down to their final strike, down by a run. And remember, it's Derek Wynn on deck, not Gunnar Kozlowitz, because he was a defensive replacement in this game. The payoff offering. He got it. Jackson Bates gets his first save of the season in Minot State's comeback effort falls short here in game one of this pivotal series. Your final score, Southwest Minnesota State eight, Minot State seven. Southwest Minnesota State has now won five in a row. They're eight and one in their last nine games.